Axiom's Microsoft Office Importer lets you bring data from Excel or Word into MicroStation with excellent formatting plus a link back to the original spreadsheet or Word document so that data can be updated in the design file in the future. The way it works is you go into Excel or Word, select what you want, copy it to your clipboard, then jump into MicroStation and hit the paste button right here on the Microsoft Office Importer toolbar. Then we show you the area that that paste is going to cover so you can place it where you need it. As you can see here, this isn't going to fit inside my border. That's totally fine because Microsoft Office Importer can spread it out to make the best use of the space. I'm going to click in the corner here and now I'm going to find this second point here and when I've got it where I like it, just click again. And what we do is we create MicroStation text and line elements that are a faithful representation of the Excel or Word data that's coming in. And the way the updating works is whenever you open a design file in the future that has one of our linked pastes in it, we check to see if the spreadsheet or Word document has changed. And if it has, we update the data in the design file to keep it up to date. If it hasn't, then no update is necessary. These elements are standard MicroStation elements. They look and behave great. You can use them and pass the file around just like you would if you'd drawn them yourself, only they're automatically updated and the formatting is excellent and you don't have to do all that painstaking work yourself. You can control things like font, level, color, weight, style, and text size, and more uh, before you create your paste. You set it up, you can match your CAD standard, and you've even got separate settings for text and lines. So the lines you can have on one level, the text can go on another level. Um, the idea is to fit this into your workflow without changing what you're already doing, uh, except perhaps removing a lot of unnecessary work that you might have to do by doing this stuff manually or using MicroStation's Paste Special tool.